South Korea's AI bridge cameras prevent suicides in real time. In South Korea, AI is being used not to stop crime, but to save lives. Multiple bridges across the country now use AI-powered suicide prevention systems to monitor pedestrians 24-7. Here's how it works. High-resolution cameras scan the bridge at all times. The AI analyzes body posture, movement patterns, loitering time, leaning behavior, head and hand positioning facial expressions, thermal imaging for stress markers. If the system detects signs of distress, hesitation, or high-risk behavior, it immediately alerts local emergency responders. In some cases, police or rescue teams have reached individuals within minutes, often before they can act. The Han River bridges in Seoul are equipped with this system, which combines AI software with thermal cameras and predictive behavior algorithms trained on thousands of previous incidents. Since installation, intervention response times have improved dramatically. Supporters call it a technological breakthrough, providing real-time life-saving assistance. But critics raise important concerns. Accuracy. Can AI reliably distinguish between someone simply enjoying the view and someone in distress? Privacy. Should governments constantly analyze public emotional states? Dependence. Could reliance on AI replace more meaningful mental health outreach? South Korea has one of the highest suicide rates among developed nations, which drives the motivation behind adopting these advanced tools. But as with all predictive AI, there's a fine line between prevention and surveillance. The question isn't just whether it works. It's how far we're willing to let algorithms monitor our emotions, movements, and private struggles, even in public places. The future of AI isn't only about crime or commerce. It's about how deeply it integrates into the most vulnerable moments of human life. This is Virtue Domus.